welcome back to my channel. Today's a good day. Today's a great day. Today is a fabulous day. But what's more important, today is your day. This video is video three on my shoe box altars. So I hope that you enjoyed video one and video two. Today's video I am going to be making a video for a deity, an angel, or a saint. But today, I am using Arisha. I'm setting up Arisha altar to Yemiya, the mother of the seas. So, let's get started. And... If you did not have the opportunity to see video one or video two, just an explanation. There is some of my clients and customers that come in and they want to set up an altar, but their space is very limited. They either live in apartments or they don't have privacy. Or maybe they may have kids and they don't want their children to be messing up their altars. So this is a wonderful option for anybody that have small space or limited space or need privacy. So the only thing that you will be needing is a box. Any kind of box will do as long as it have a lid. So I will be showing you what I have in the box and how my idea of this altar to Yemiya can be set up. Of course, you can alter anything that you want, um, but this is just an idea of how you may want to set it up. First, as in prior videos, we're going to be using the top, so we'll set this top on the side. So I have a white cloth. Now, her colors are white and blue. So it could be white and blue or white or blue. I also have her prayer. I have some of her cologne. Now, I do have statues of Yemiya, but they're large. They're too large to fit in the box. However, sometimes I can get the smaller ones, but they're kind of hard to get right now. So I just merely printed out a picture of her which will work just perfectly fine I have some sand I have some water from the ocean I have some of her incense goddess of the sea incense I have a wand here. This is a wand that I made. You see it? Isn't it gorgeous? I have a bowl. I have a bag of real seashells. I have her Ali case and I'll do a video later on on the Arishas and um, Ali case also have a bracelet so I'm gonna be leaving these on her altar and I will leave them on the altar to charge and I have a blue and a white candle now you can just do blue or you could do white. I'm going to be setting up both of these on her altar. And my baby bell. So the first thing that I will be doing
and I explained the top. We're going to be actually using the top as the altar, not the box. The box is for storage. So I put the white cloth and it could be white or blue. Remember her colors, white and blue. So it could be white and uh, light blue and dark blue or, or any combination of white and blue. Okay. So before I would start, this is her cologne. So you can spray it around, the, you know, around where you're at. You can wear it. Um, you can uh, take this cologne and actually put some, spray it on this cloth that you're going to be using for her altar. You can also cleanse the candles with this. Now, you know what? You can also use the jar candle as long as it fits in your box or the penny candles, all right? But for this one, and I'll show you why, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you something really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna set her picture up here because this is her altar, all right? Now, I'm also going to be put in this ocean water. bag of seashells I'm going to be placing in her bowl. And it's good if you if you're going to set it up like this, just get a plastic bag to keep your seashells in so when you put take down your altar, they can be stored. So I'm going to take a white candle and I'm going to take a blue candle just like that. Isn't that gorgeous already? And this would be so nice if you had some of her music playing or even another idea the sound of the ocean playing, right? So what I'm gonna do with the sand, now, actually, I'm gonna take a little bit of the sand and I'm just gonna sprinkle it right around her altar cloth. Don't eat a lot. And y'all know I will be burning my incense. And I'm going to lay her bracelet and her lead case here. And I have a very, very pretty shell. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I have another big one. But this is gorgeous. So I just want to sit this right here by her. Right. And her wand. People say, what is a wand for? A wand's real. Wands are actually actually a way for us to manifest things. It's just keep in mind of pointing a finger. And uh so a wand is an extension of that finger also i made i make wands and this one is a, is have a whole bunch of copper infused in it because copper is a conductor of energy and you know what it's so funny that people uh, come and they might try to hold it like that and i said baby you have it wrong you have to turn it around like this this is how you would hold her wand or any other wand so what i'm gonna do I'm just going to leave that here for a second. So look, it doesn't take a lot to set up an altar. Of course, you can burn her incense now. And I already have her prayer. So I would ring the bell. Light my candles. 
and I would recite her prayer. And um, that's about it. You can do this with any of your deities. You can do it with any of your saints or your angels that you work with. The most important thing is finding out what is associated with them. Like, for instance, with Yemiya, it's the, the water, it's the shells, anything with the seas or the, the oceans or anything that's associated with a beach, the sand. So you can use any of these things to set up altars. You know, it's not really expensive to set up an altar. It's really not because you don't have to have everything. Just start out with what you have. If you just have the pitcher and the two candles, start out with that. You don't have to have everything at one time. Build your altar. Build your altar. So if even with this, if I want to put some white and blue flowers, so just get a little bit of white and blue flowers or white and blue ribbons, you can, you can be so creative. And guess what? This altar is yours personalize it it doesn't have to look like this think about how you want your altars to be set up your sacred spaces is not for anybody else is yours personally so once i would light the candles and the incense and put my music on say the prayers ring my bell i might um, go over it with her wand just for more energy just to, to, to conduct or have a stronger energy as far as this altar goes. And I would just have a relationship. Have a relationship with her. Remember, I have repeated this. I'm going to repeat it again. You do not need a large area for an altar. Now you see, a simple shoebox will do just fine. Well, thank you. Thank you. And hopefully you've seen video one and video two. And this is video three. Just to give you some ideas. So guess what? I want you to send me some pictures of your altars that you've made. Your shoebox altars. All right? I appreciate you so. Thank you. For tuning in to the videos on the shoebox altars and I I hope that it helps somebody um, because you don't have to be another day without an altar if that's what's in your spirit and your heart to do all right it's been a good day it's been a great day it's been a fabulous day but once more important don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, ring the notification bell, and write me some comments. And I'm going to find out how you can send me some pictures of your shoebox altar.